Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marki. A few months ago I started my own business in art and today I will answer 17 questions you might have about me and my art journey. I know that normally you are the ones who should ask questions, but let me break this tradition just one time. My audience is not that big yet, so I thought it would be better to start at least with some Q&A for you to know me better. So here we go! Question number one. Is Marquis Pearl your real name? Yes and no. My real name is Marqueta, but friends call me by the short version Marky, so I started to introduce myself like that as well when I started to travel abroad, because it is much easier for foreigners to pronounce it. Also, the name Marqueta comes from Latin and it means pearl, so that's why Marquis Pearl. I use that as my artist name. Question number two. Was making art always your dream? Not at all. My dream was being a singer, to be on stage, have a massive shows and maybe make it into movie industry as well, but for many reasons I couldn't do it. After 17 years of trying I had to stop because I didn't feel happy anymore and the universe literally made me move back to my home country, where I had to decide what I was going to do with my life. <laughs> When I was thinking about being an artist, I started to feel more joy again, so I just followed that feeling and implemented specific steps to be able to start. Question number three. How do you come up with the ideas for your videos? It depends every time. Sometimes there are certain types of things I want to try or do, so it comes to me naturally. If I am not sure what to talk about, I normally do a lot of research on YouTube and find ideas over there. Also, I try to figure out what the trends are and what actually works on YouTube to be able to grow. But honestly, I always make videos which I resonate with and which I like. I want to grow, but not at my expense. I want to be proud of the videos and I want people to feel like I feel when I watch them. I want to be myself. Always. Question number four. What do you like to paint? At the moment, beautiful ladies, fairies, flowers and fantasy things. I have just started and all those paintings I am creating now are part of my practice and grow. I want to be able to paint bodies and faces really well, as I would love to create my own comics and books. I can already see quite a big development in my skills, so I am actually very excited about how I will be able to paint in a year or two. I am not stopping anytime soon. If I come up with some project, I always put everything into it and this channel is no different. So if you are still here with me and you would like to see my progress, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the videos I post. Question number five. Do you come from money? That is a big no. I am from a very humble background. I am not going to be specific as it is not a fond memory, but I am just going to say that the same year my parents would be deciding if I will have new shoes for 10 pounds or new trousers. <laughs> I don't know, pocket money, dowry or inheritance, everything that I have or don't have is from my own work. I was working part-time jobs since I was 12, feeding myself since I was 16 and living on my own by the age of 18. Question number 6. Why did you choose watercolor and digital art? Firstly, digital art is a must to be able to do book illustrations or comics and many different things and I actually really like it. I know I haven't posted anything yet, but don't worry, it is about to come. And watercolor just looks so beautiful to me on paper that I was like, yes, that is what I would love to do. To be honest, I am falling in love with gouache now too, so I might actually incorporate that into my paintings. We'll see. Question number seven. What are your goals in art? Actually, I am going to be a little bit cheeky with this answer and I will redirect you to my different video where I talk about these and about other things too. And you definitely can find out more about me. Question number eight. Where do you take inspiration from? Literally anywhere. Nature, music, movies, dramas, the internet, my imagination, meditation, experiences, life. Anywhere. If you don't want to get artist's block, then you need to move. Move your body, move your mind, learn things, read things, talk with people, talk with trees, flowers, God, the universe, angels, be alone but move. You need to be moving in some sort of way. 
you will not find your inspiration by being stuck. If you are, start moving, literally. Go for a walk, wash dishes, clean your room, cry, scream, laugh, move. Question number nine. Is there anything weird or funny about you? I don't know if this might count, but 99% of time I wear white shoes. Unless it is for a shoot or something different, but since I was little I had to always have white shoes or very light colors. Dark colors on my feet literally annoy me and make me feel uncomfortable. I don't own black socks and the darkest shade I have is blue. I do have black heels and boots, but this is just for my business meetings. I think I will throw them out too. Question number 10. What is your view on social media? Okay, I have very mixed feelings about this one. So I love social media as a source of inspiration, seeing my friends, what they are up to and connecting with people with a similar vibe. I love when people use social media responsibly to create, help and support people, give advice and spread love and light. I absolutely dislike social media for being so open to bullies, haters, evil people, spreading hate, spreading lies and of course everyone needs to have an opinion on every issue even when they know nothing about it. Everyone wants to be heard even when their words are garbage. Freedom of speech, please. I don't think people who were fighting for that actually wanted people to misuse it the way they do now. Be responsible. Question number 11. What is your favorite movie? That is hard. I have many of them, but I am going to say a few. Avatar, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, King Arthur from the 2017, The Shawshank Redemption, Green Mile, Pirates of Caribbean and many many more all the Disney animated movies and I am not kidding, I have seen them all. <laughs> Question number 12. What is your favorite show? This is hard too, but I love Korean shows, so it will be more of them. So my mister, Mr. Sunshine, Goblin, Glory, K2, You Miss Cells, Save Me and I really love Pride and Prejudice from 1995. Question number 13. What is your favorite color? At the moment it is teal green and dusty pink, but it changes for me. That is why is my wardrobe so colorful. <laughs> Question number 14. What is your favorite books? Oh, there are many of them too, but I will try to make it short. So I really love Convoluted Universe by Dolores Cannon, Lore Olympus by Rachel Smith or Raquel Smith, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, The Elven by Bernard Hannon, the Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph Murphy and so on and so on and so on. There is many of them, so I can't, yeah, I can't say them all. <laughs> Question number 15. What is your favorite food? I love food in general, but I would say lasagna, kimchi pancakes, bulgogi, tteokbokki, sushi and all kinds of salads. I really love Asian food, so specifically Korean, Japanese, Chinese, Thai and Vietnamese. Question number 16. Did you go to an art school or any workshops? No, 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 no. I'm completely self-taught and still learning, so please be patient with me. And last question, 17. Are you scared of starting something new completely from scratch? Oh, yes. <laughs> Very much so, but I am a believer and doer as well. I am not a person who will sit around and just wait for an opportunity. Sometimes I have this negative thought that with my luck nothing would ever happen for me if I would sit around. So I would rather move forward and try to create opportunities for myself. It might sound negative, but I don't believe in luck, at least not anymore. However, I do believe in action. If you take action, the reaction will follow. That's a law. And that was the last question, guys. Thank you very much for staying till now. I promise for the next Q&A, you will be the ones asking questions. So if you have anything you would like to know, just leave a comment below. And also, this is my new painting. I was trying to paint a Korean face, but it was harder than I thought. Another thing to practice. Thank you very much, guys, again. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.